difference in the in the relative strength. So at this point, we'll, what these results suggest is is that we may be able to use non-genetic heterogeneity to basically unite these two different models. I and mean, how do we do that? If we place non-genetic heterogeneity back into the picture and simply consider that within a progenitor population, there may already be a spectrum, okay, a spectrum of differentiation potential. Thereby, if you isolate cells which are most likely to become the yellow cells and then give them similar instructions, they'll very efficiently do that. On the other hand, cells which are very more, uh, more likely to become the pink cells they would also do that. Now, the, this is a conceptual expansion of the old selection idea, which is which says that okay, within the population they're already dif spontaneously differentiated. All we're saying is relax that, accept the fact that even within a clonal progenitor population, they have they vary in their potentials um, in cell phase, and then utilize it 